Oh, great sakes, today we are back with a new story. A very interesting story. The third lesson in your textbook, Making Friends. It's actually an extract. You know what is the meaning of extract. We have done it in our previous lessons also. That is a part of a bigger story, a novel. So this extract is from a very very famous novel, Little Women. And Little Women was written by Louis May Alcott. She became very famous after writing this novel. Now this novel has been uh, filmed also. Uh, there has been many uh, short stories based on this novel, TV serials also. And the basic thing about this novel is that it's about the story of four sisters. Their growing up, their life. It's very, very interesting. And it also tells us a lot of things about the society of that time. Society in the sense, uh, what were the people's mindset, what kind of clothes they wore, what kind of rules they followed in the society. How the women or the girls were treated by men in the society. So it gives a reflection of lot many things. And this family which has got four sisters is called the March family. And here they are staying with their mother who is a very compassionate loving lady. And their father is out in the war. So it becomes the responsibility of the mother to bring up these girls. So each one has a different characteristic. Naturally, there are four different individuals. So here let us see what characteristics comes out of these girls. Though the story is mainly about Joe and Meg, but little mention is there about the other sisters also. Second, we have done types of writing, right? Now this is not a prose, it is a drama. Now drama settings are very different from a story. Story mein kya hota hai? Haan, first para, second para padhte hai, toh us mein se hain pata chal jata hai ki kis jaga pe ye ghatna ho rahi hai, characters ka naam kya hai, time kya hai, background kaisa hai, gaon hai, mountain hai, village hai, river hai, ghar ke andar hai. <coughs> Bhoat saara details rehta hai, jis se hame samajna padhta hai. But in drama, the whole setting is put up on the stage. Jaise ek curtain hartta hai, you can see the stage and understand. Whether it's inside the house, whether it's a living room, whether it's a garden or it is somewhere out in the mountains or it is a village scene. So the way the things are arranged on the stage and the background is made, it gives us the idea of where the story is taking place. Second, when we read the play, when it is in written form, then you will see the names of the characters will be given there. Okay. And what is their relationship with the other characters? This is fixed. Jab drama ka strip likhte hai hum school plays ke liye bhi ya jab uh, TV serials ke scenes, plays hote hai ya kuch bhi hai, movies hote hai. So everywhere this kind of a character, character sketching is made. So with the name many times it's mentioned what kind of a person this person is or what this person looks like. So here so much details is not given. Just the names of the character is given. Then third the drama is always divided into scenes. TV may be aap log dekhte ho na. Ek ghatna khatam ho jati hai. So continue karne ke liye scene change ho jata hai. Ya next day it is continued. But in drama, when the scene changes, then you know that there is a shift in the story. Something is changing. So we will read uh, the story, understand what is happening. The words are underlined here, which I will explain the meaning while I am reading. Making friends. 
In 19th century New England four sisters the tomboyish joe the beautiful meg the frail beth and the curly haired amy grow up from girls into young women while their father is away at war so these are the four sisters and little bit of description is given the tomboyish joe what is tomboyish a girl who always likes to be like a boy be is like a boy wear boys clothes keeps hair style like boys plays games of boys so it's like that beautiful meg so meg was the one who was the most beautiful among the sisters the frail bet frail bet frail means weak now weak means all the time she is sick thoda idhar se udhar ho to wo ghabra jati hai so she is little weak and the curly haired amy curly haired means her hair was very very curly so they were growing up into women so maybe they were come in their late uh, uh sorry in the beginning of their 20s their family is poor but they are content and happy so they don't belong to a very rich family but whatever they have they are very happy with it content satisfied they are always willing to make friends and help others so all the four sisters had this uh quality that is of helping others are the sisters able to make friends with a lonely neighbor read this dramatized version of an extract from little women so this is the theme of this part which we are going to read what is that are the sisters able to make friends with a lonely neighbor lonely neighbor neighbor matlab aapke baju mein jo rehta hai बाजू वाला घर या सामने वाला घर या पीछे वाला घर जो भी है लोनली मतलब वो अकेला है दैट्स वाई द नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी ऑफ द टाइटल हैज बीन पुट एस मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स सो कैरेक्टर्स जो मैग द मार्च सिस्टर्स लॉरी द बॉय इन द नेबरहुड ग्रैंड फादर लॉरेंस ग्रैंड फादर ओल्ड मिस्टर लॉरेंस मेड द हेल्पर इन द लॉरेंस household so there aren't too many characters only five characters it is so scene one so when the curtain remove is pulled when the curtain opens to ye dikhai de raha hai kya hai the scene is set in a drawing room the room has two sofas facing each other two deep chairs a cupboard and a large coffee table Between the sofas is a fireplace where a small cheerful fire is blazing. The sofas and chairs are covered with pretty but faded cloth. The curtains at the windows are crimson, bright ones now faded to a dull color. Crimson means dark red. So once they used to be very dark red but now because they have become old the color has faded. And what else is there? because it's a drawing room because it's a sitting room it has sofas facing each other then it has chair then it has a center table which is a coffee table right and because it's winter time so there is a fireplace with a fire burning and then something else is also written the sofas and chairs are covered with pretty but faded cloth now we read in the beginning in the introduction that this family was not rich but then they were happy with whatever it had so looking at the things in the drawing room we can make out that they are poor but not so poor also that they can't afford anything the effect is one of shabby but gentle poverty gentle means not very very poor they can manage a young girl is reading on one of the sofas her feet stretch towards the fire This is Meg. She looks up as another young girl walks in wearing rubber boots and a hooded cap with a broom in one hand and a shovel in the other. So you can see at the left corner of the book there is a girl with a broom matlab jhadu hooded cap matlab aapke paas bhi hoga jacket jiske sath cap bhi hota hai so we call them hooded 
and a shovel. Shovel is a tool which is used actually to remove snow or do the clearing. Meg, what in the world are you going to do now, Joe? Joe, going out for some exercise. Joe smiles. Meg, horrified. Exercise on a cold day like this? Joe, you can sit here and read I know and toast your feet. I am going out. So this is the conversation that takes place between two sisters that Joe enters the room and Meg is asking that what are you doing here? Then she is saying that I am going out for some exercise. Meg is horrified when she is very surprised that it is so cold outside and you will go to exercise in the cold. So Jo, as I said, she has a tomboyish kind of a character. So she is saying, "Ah, under bed here, oh, अपना पैर गरम करो, मैं तो जा रही हूँ." आप बुक पढ़ते रहो, but I am going. Jo exists left. Meg stares after her sister. So Jo, जैसे अपने room से बाहर जा रही है, कभी-कभी होता है ना कोई घर room से बाहर निकलते हैं तो हम जब तक वो बाहर नहीं जाते हैं, हम उनको देखते हैं. So it is like that. Turn the page. Fine. Meg, Jo, shrugs her shoulder. She can never sit still for even a moment, but she'll be soon complaining of the cold and telling me how her feet and ears and fingers. Frozen and ready to drop off. So Meg, she knows the nature of her sister. वो तो है ना? घरवाले के nature कैसा है वो हमें पता होता है। तो वो Meg अपने आप बोल रही है कि हाँ, पता है अभी तो बाहर जा रही है, अभी अंदर आ जाएगी। बोलेगी बाहर बहुत ठंड है, मैं जम जा रही हूँ, सब मेरा निकल के आ रहा है शरीर से। A little later, Jo enters with an excited look on her face. So Something like this did not happen. Jo came back, but she was very happy. Jo, do you know where I am going now? Meg looks up startled. Startled? कभी आप ध्यान से पढ़ते हो और कोई आके आपको कुछ बोलता है तो एक तरफ झटका लगता है ना? That is startled. Because she was reading with full concentration, so when this girl comes and speaks, she is startled. Meg, oh, it's you, Jo. You startled me. What's the matter? Is it too cold for you? Joe, not a bit. I have finished clearing the snow and sweeping a path around the garden. So this is the work she did. She had to clear the snow. Snow matlab baraf. Those go rasa clear karna pada garden mein jane ke liye. Have you seen the Lawrence boy who lives in the stately mansion on the other side of the hedge? So, क्या पूछ रही है कि बाजू वाले घर में जो बड़ा सा मकान है, बंगला जैसा है, वहाँ एक लड़का रहता है लॉरेंस। आप क्या उसको देखे हो? Hedge मतलब झाड़ी। I wonder if he is gone away, or maybe his grandpa does not know what's good for him and keeps him shut all day. He needs somebody young, and I have a good mind to go over and tell the old man so. So, old gentleman so. So, ये सब खुद वो अपने आप सोच रही है, decide कर रही है उसको करना क्या है. So, she wants to visit this boy, Lawrence, and see that why he doesn't come out of the house, why he is all the time shut in the house. ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि उनके जो grandfather हैं, वो allow नहीं करते हैं. तो जो को लगता है दैट शी नीड्स टू एक्सप्लेन द ग्रैंडफादर दैट इट इज नॉट राइट टू बी इनसाइड द हाउस ऑल द टाइम सो दैट इज द सीन वन इट एंड्स देयर देन कम्स सीन टू द कर्टन राइज टू शो द कर्टन राइज टू शो लॉरी लुकिंग आउट ऑफ हिज विंडो जो थ्रोज अ हैंडफुल ऑफ स्नो टुवर्ड्स हिम लॉरी टर्न्स इज हेड टू लुक एट जो सो दिस इज सीन टू जो इज प्लेइंग विद द स्नो एंड लॉरी वॉट ही इज डूइंग ही इज स्टैंडिंग एट द विंडो ऑफ हिज हाउस एंड लुकिंग एट जो आउटसाइड तो जैसे ही जो को पता चला कि वो वहाँ खड़ा है 
तो वो एक बर्फ का गोला बना के उसके तरफ फेंकता है जो हाउ डू यू डू आई यू सिक लॉरी इन अ क्रोकिंग वॉइस क्रोकिंग वॉइस मीन्स जब गला खराब हो जाता है हम बात करते हैं तो इट साउंड लिटिल रफ सो क्रोकिंग इज एक्चुअली द साउंड ऑफ अ फ्रॉग सो इट से इज दैट वी स्पीक लाइक अ फ्रॉग वेन वी हैव अ बैड थ्रोट आई हैव हैड अ बैड कोल्ड एंड आई हैव बीन शर्ट फॉर अ वीक जो आई एम सॉरी वॉट डू यू अम्यूज योर सेल्फ विथ डोंट यू रीड सो जो वॉन्ट्स टू नो दैट वो हाउ डू यू पास योर टाइम हाउ डू यू अम्यूज मीन्स कीप योर सेल्फ एंगेज एंटरटेन डू यू रीड मीन्स डू यू रीड बुक्स Lori not much they won't let me jo can somebody read to you so lori is saying no main zyada book nahi padhta hu because mujhe padhne nahi dete so jo is saying can't anybody read to you matlab aisa kya koi hai nahi aapke ghar mein jo aapko padh ke suna sakta hai lori grandpa does sometimes but my book don't interest him and i hate to ask brook all the time so he is saying that ha huh, grandfather sometimes reads books for me but then it does the stories are not interesting to him and i don't like asking the maid to read the book for me all the time jo have someone come and see you then par theek hai aap wo book bhi nahi padhta hai bahar bhi nahi aata hai to karte kya ho kya aapse koi milne aata hai fir aap baat karte ho uske sath next page lori there isn't anyone i had like to see boys make such a row so he is a very quiet kind of a person he says nahi nahi mere ghar koi nahi hai tab boys aate hain itna shor machate hain that i don't like jo isn't there some nice girls who would read and amuse you phir jo puchti hai ki aapke sab friends jo hai boys hi hai koi girls nahi hai jo aapko aake to reading mein help kare Lori, don't know any. Jo laughingly, you know us. So Lori is saying, मेरे जान पहचान वाले कोई ऐसा तो है नहीं. फिर Jo बोलती है क्यों आप तो हमें जानते हो. Lori, so I do. Will you come, please? Jo, I'm not quite a nice, but I'll come. If my mother will let me, I'll go and ask her. Shut the window, like a good boy. So Jo, you can understand, is a very very friendly person. she cannot sit at one place for too long she has to move around doing some work or talking to people so that was the main reason why she was interested in knowing what the neighborhood boy does why he is not seen outside his home so lori says that yes you can come and visit my house then jo says ki par main itna shant nature wali nahi hu then i have to take permission also from my mother so if she allows i will come shut the window like a good boy now why do you think she is saying shut the window because he already has a cold and it's very cold outside full of snow so that he doesn't fall sick again so jo advises him that you please shut the window so it's a very simple language to understand a simple drama which has just begun we have finished reading two scenes we will stop here there are many videos on youtube you can search and watch them on this story you can also find find more details about her other books which uh louis alcott has written there are abridged forms bade book ke chote karke bhi uh published hote hain you can buy them you can read it download and read it it's very very interesting these are all called classics classics means they have been translated into many languages and they have become they are very very famous of their time jab aisa hota hai ki koi book ki sale bahut badh jati hai so they fall into classic and they are novels with lot of characters lot of subplots which portrays not only the character uh, involved in it but also the society what were the values to be learned from there what were the changes 
that were really required at that time in the society so we'll end here today you can go through whatever we have read